Hi beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. You already know Ichigo Yekum An and if you don't know means you are visiting for the first time, you know what to do already. Just hit the subscribe button and be part of the family. Hope your Sunday is good. It's another Sunday and as I promise I'll be giving to you videos every Sunday. So this edition of uh, uh, the video I'll be talking about uh, 10 habits to build a strong relationship with your Partner. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned as we fight together. Okay, when it comes to relationships, what what we think about is a romance, what we think about is building a close bond, what we think about is being happy, like a fairy tale movie or so. So uh, what we need to do as individuals, we need to uh, do we need to make individual efforts to make our relationships very healthy and also to uh, increase the bond between you and your partner everyone needs to be loved and everyone uh, wants to love and when that when there is that balance you see everybody is really happy and things move in a very positive direction so you should always try as much as possible to create a uh, something that is going to bring you and your partner together there's a uh, there are times that we get so busy and we just feel like we are not going to have time for our partners like i'm going to have a very busy day and i don't know if i'm going to make time uh, for my partner but there's something i want to tell you that i've learned and i've been living with for a very long time now every problem has a solution even you uh, making time for your partner and building a strong relationship has a solution so it depends on each and every one of you everyone needs to make an effort if you start and you know you do it with all your heart and you make little efforts your partner will definitely follow suit so uh, the first point on my list is you need to prioritize your partner you need to prioritize your partner like uh, you know most of the times there are uh, couples they don't even see each other in the morning because they have different sleeping time maybe when it, when the uh, lady is coming in the guy is going out or like that but you need to prioritize your partner you know if you really wish to you know see your partner every day you need to always make time for, for your partner like for example you can sleep or maybe late if your partner is coming back from work pretty late you can just extend some time so that you can meet him and after work you guys have a little chat before you go home you know most of the times people just wake up at the at the sound of their alarm they pick up their bags and they are already out of the house and they come back home very tired you know yeah we have a lot of important things our jobs are important our daily activities are important so is your spouse very important to you so you also need to give him that uh, your, your 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 partner that that mutual um important so that they might also feel happy and that's gonna build a very strong bond between you two and the next point is you and your partner should all should make it a habit to always pray together and the next point is sleeping together and waking up together and early not just together but early because when you wake up early you have time for each other you have time for little chit chats before you start up with your very busy schedule it's a very important routine for couples to uh, wake up beside each other you know just the thought of it is so 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 lovely you know just waking up beside your partner maybe you're just lying down in his arms oh my god it's so nice you know so it's a very important routine to uh, wake up early and uh, with your partner because yeah as I, I i mentioned earlier in the first point that we are all so busy you might be um the, your morning might be your your partner's night and but you need to prioritize your partner it's very important to prioritize your partner because any it, it takes a very it takes someone who is willing and determined to make a relationship work so you guys just have to work on it and you need to sacrifice uh, a lot of things just to like make time for each other uh, another example uh, how uh, is if you want to sleep at night maybe the lady has a lot of uh, chores in the kitchen you as a man you can you can join forces with the lady so that when you guys go to bed and you wake up in the morning you guys have a lot of time because the lady has nothing to do in the morning you guys have a lot of time in the morning to you know, chit chat before the day starts 
Okay, the next poem I'm going to be talking about uh, is uh, Praying Together. It's very romantic and healthy for a couple to kneel down beside their bed every morning and pray together. You know, you listen to your man, pray for you, pray for your unborn kids, pray for your kids, you know, pray for your daily activities. It's really beautiful and you doing the same. Also, when you pray together, it makes it soft to your heart. And if you're having any maybe relationship issues, if you're been quarreling, you since your heart is soft, you already come before the presence of the world. You're sober, you know, you easily forgive your partner, and you're going to move on, and everything's going to be very smooth. So don't forget to pray together. It's a very beautiful routine. Pray together with your partner. Make it a morning routine, and you are definitely going to see results in no possible time. Like for example, uh, people always say that a family that prays together stays together. So the next point we're talking about is exercise together. Exercising together is a very very important uh, routine for uh, couples to bond. Like the other day in my neighborhood, I saw a couple. They are, I think, they are at their sixties right now, and they were jogging together. And I've been, I've noticed them. They are jogging every blessed morning and evening. They're always jogging together. They are in their sixties, as I said, means they have been doing this. They have incorporated this routine. In fact, right back in the days, and they have lived with it, and they are still together. You know, I think it's a very beautiful example to. Uh, to, to emulate. Also, one thing about this exercise together, it's a very nice means to bond with your partner. And also, some of us always have complaints like, oh, our partners are very bulky, they are very far, they are very chubby, we don't like it. So instead of engaging in fights like that, it's very, very easy to help them lose weight and also bond together by doing exercises with them every blessed day. And moving on to the next point is shower together. So talking about having a shower together with your partner, it's a very important part of the morning routine, which is going to create a very strong bond between you and your partner. Just imagine you and your partner coming from jogging and you guys are all sweaty and you go into the washroom and take a bath together. Doesn't that sound romantic? Okay, so incorporate that into your uh, into your relationship, and you are definitely going to bond a little bit more with your partner. And while in the shower, and while in the shower, you should, you can play uh, nice music, cool music, romantic music, or maybe the favorite sound of your partner and. That alone makes you to know your partner even more and maybe the kind of music he loves or she loves. And also, while in the bath, you can make some little uh, baby games. You can take a let, let, letter, I don't know how to call it. I will just put the, the word in the top of the screen so you understand what I'm talking about and put it maybe, you're like, oh, I'm a, I'm a Santa Claus, like that, you know, shower time should always be playtime for you and trust me, you're going to eat one even more with your partner. And the next point is, you need to assist your partner. Uh, a family, a happy family routine is that you need to work as a team and you always need to assist your partner with uh, their chores and activities. Like for example, if you and your partner are preparing for your day out, like maybe you need to go out and out for work or something, you need to help your partner. If the lady is maybe preparing breakfast, making breakfast for the whole family, the husband can be maybe taking the children, um, maybe giving the children a shower and preparing the dresses, ironing the dresses for everybody. And trust me, when you work together as a team, as a family or happy couple, the happiness is not only going to stay in the house, but when you move out, when you go out for your daily activities, the happiness is going to extend um, outside. So always uh, try to bond with your partner and assist them with your daily chores at home to make it easier and lighter for each and every one. Um, now we'll be talking about uh, expressing gratitude to your partner.
Expressing gratitude is a very important part of a relationship. They said words are very powerful and they propel people to do even more. Like everybody likes to be appreciated, everybody likes to be noticed when that when they do something which is very good. So if you always appreciate your partner and make sure they know uh, the good that they have done, it's going to help them to do more and it's going to make them to be always happy. So you just need to focus on the good part of your partner and always tell them that this is what I like about you. You know, you always have to learn to appreciate your partner. You always like learn to, you need to always um, show gratitude for what they have done and for who they are. It's going to boost their morale and I'm telling you, it's going to create a very strong bond in uh, your relationship with your partner. Also, the next point is uh, speaking supportive words to your partner. Uh, it's a very important routine to create a very strong bond between you and your partner when you speak supportive words to your partner. Uh, your partner is supposed to be your number one encourager because you, you like what you are doing in life has to be circled around your partner so he has to be he or she has to be your source of motivation so if you always speak encouraging words to your partner it's going to create a very strong bond between you two always as i said in the, uh, the past point uh, you always focus on the the good part of your partner always make them to like be encouraged to do more always be supportive always um, give supportive words to your partner you can um, look for your favorite pictures and always make comments on why you like that picture so much also you can drop notes for the day that is going to encourage them maybe where they always frequently go to like maybe their car you just put a very beautiful note there it's going to encourage them so it's a very important aspect of uh, it's a very important routine that is going to make the relationship to be stronger by using supportive words always. To Another point is uh, take breakfast together. You need to always take breakfast with your spouse together because uh, the breakfast time, that is the short time for you guys to create and go for uh, your daily activities. During the breakfast period, you can bond by you know just talking about your daily activities, what your daily activities is going to look like, and it's a good way of bonding together. Because when you're taking breakfast together with your partner, you're spending quality time with your partner, and during that period, uh, there should be no distractions like no phones and no other stuff so like okay that is going to take a. Uh, the attention away from your partner so always make it a habit to take breakfast or any other meal at least one meal with your partner because it really helps uh, bonding in a relationship and the last point but not the least is uh, keep in touch always keep in touch with your partner even if uh, they are very busy and they leave the house without um, like for the whole day you always need to keep in touch and know their daily activities and know their uh, each and every move it's going to really help to uh, make the relationship really bond and if your spouse is far away from you you need to in in incorporate this habit also to your relationship by always trying to make video calls voice calls at every time uh, in the day so that you guys always know what's up and also to improve communication it's a very uh, good way to make a bonding in your relationship so that's gonna be it for this session of uh, the video hope you enjoyed it make sure you like comment share and if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe see you next time stay well take care bye bye love you all